Well, hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SRT between Larix Broadcaster and OBS Studio. SRT, or Secure Reliable Transport, is fast becoming the preferred protocol for IRL live streamers. This is because it's a lot more efficient for sending and receiving video while also using less mobile data, resulting in less pixelation issues. Tests have shown it to be two to three times faster than RTMP. Before we begin, make sure you've already installed the latest version of OBS Studio, Node.js, and WebSockets on your computer. And of course, Larix Broadcast on your phone. Links in the description. Let's start by finding our local IP address using a command prompt. Just press the Windows key R and enter CMD. In the command prompt type ipconfig to find your IPv4 address for your home internet. For me, it's 192.168.14. Open Larix Broadcast on your phone, go into the settings and create a new connection. Give it a name, local, and paste the following into the URL field. SRT colon double forward slash your IPv4 address colon and then any unused port number. Let's go with 22222. We're going to keep everything default, but something I wanted to highlight is the SRT sender mode of caller, meaning Larix is going to be sending its stream somewhere else, in this case your home computer. Hit the save button and you're done here for now. Open OBS and add a media source to the webcam scene. Uncheck all the boxes, reconnect delay to as low as possible, for me it's 1.5. For the input, You'll find this in the description. Just change the IPv4 address and port to yours. If you dig through the code, you'll notice the media source has SRT mode of listener. The other info relates to handling an incoming stream using the same IP address and port. To start live streaming from Larix, navigate back to the main screen and hit the big gray button to go live. Back in OBS, our media source should now be receiving the SRT stream from the phone with maybe a few seconds of delay, which is normal. Everything we've covered is based around Hefk and SRT using Larix and OBS, but our connection so far only works from home. We're going to add a new connection from mobile. Firstly, we need to find our external IP address, which you can get from a website like whatismyip.com. The problem with using this IP address is it's probably dynamic, meaning it's constantly changing. In other words, you'd have to keep updating your connection info every time that happens, which could be every hour or less. The better option is to have a static IP, an IP address that stays the same, or to sign up with a service like No IP. At the time of recording this video, their free plan includes a dynamic DNS hostname you can use instead of a static IP, something like myfreeip.hop2.org. This is a lot easier to remember than a string of numbers like 8.8.8.8 for Google. One of the downsides to NIOP's free plan is you have to sign in every 30 days to confirm you're still using it. But if you're interested, paid plans start from around $1.99 a month. Once you've got your static IP or hostname working, open Larix Broadcaster and add a new connection. Name it mobile and paste the following into the URL field srt colon double forward slash your static IP or hostname colon and then the same port number as before. Hit the save button and go back to the main screen. Turn off your phone's Wi-Fi and hit the big grey button to go live. If you encounter any connection problems you probably have to enable port forwarding within your home router's admin settings. This allows internet traffic through the port we set up earlier. Every router is different but usually it's in the security settings Here's a couple of examples I found online. It's also possible your firewall could be blocking traffic through that port. In both of these cases, I suggest reading the help articles on NoIP's website, or you can Google terms like port forwarding for your specific modem, and maybe allow traffic through port with your specific firewall software. Back to Larix, try the big gray button again to go live. Now, before it goes to plan, you'll be live streaming from Larix Broadcaster with SRT and your mobile connection to OBS. Next time we'll be adding disconnect protection with SRT Loopy, or is it Loopy SRT? I think that's the name of it. Why do I keep calling it Loopy? 